How you doing? I'm Mike Gaddy and welcome to the Shortcast Podcast, COVID and Events. This week I want to extend a little bit about our conversation about the disconnect between meeting planners and meeting goers and what they are doing with reference to safety protocols and the expectations that meeting goers have for safety protocols being in place. Protocols like masks and vaccination, proof of vaccination. According to research from MMGY, 71% of meeting goers, people attending meetings, expect safety protocols like masks and proof of vaccine to be in place. But only 51% of meeting planners are putting those safety measures in place. In other words, half of events aren't spelling out what safety measures they are requiring because of COVID. As I mentioned last week, that's a problem because a lot of corporate America will only authorize travel when those safety measures are spelled out in black and white on the event website. Otherwise, they just won't authorize their team to go to those events. So that may be one of the reasons why attendance at events is remaining low. I'd also like to talk a little bit about the uptick over the past 20, uh, past two weeks in COVID cases nationwide. There's been about a 10% increase in COVID cases. However, that increase in cases, unlike previous increases, has not necessarily resulted in the same level of hospitalizations or deaths as a result of COVID. And perhaps that's because some of the cases are breakthrough infections and aren't as severe. Case in point, in New Hampshire, there was a 249% increase in COVID cases in the last 24, uh, last two week period. However, there was only an 8% increase in hospitalizations over the same corresponding time frame. The same is true in Minnesota, 54% increase in COVID cases over the last two weeks, but only a 16% increase in hospitalizations. How that disparity reflects in event planning and, and meeting attendance going forward remains to be seen. We have not faced a period of time where we've had an uptick in COVID cases that has not also resulted in an increase, significant increase in hospitalizations and deaths. So the fact that vaccinations are keeping the illness less severe and the fact that there's new oral treatments coming out to help deal with symptoms when breakthrough infections occur would suggest that we may be moving into a stage of the pandemic where we're just kind of living with it. That's it for this week in COVID and events. Talk to you next week as I bring you my take on how events continue to be planned in 2021 and going into 2022. Thanks so much. Have a great couple weeks.